couple more here. Maybe if I could get, could I ask the two of you to just step up here? Ma'am and sir, both, both of you, just one on each side. Gil, Gil and Sabrina, we're going to do something with uh, the zodiac. Everybody's familiar with the astrology symbols in the zodiac. I have two sets of cards here from the zodiac to show you. Astrology symbols, all the various astrology signs and symbols from the zodiac. There's 12 of them. You know, there's Aries and Cancer and Taurus and sneezy and grumpy or whatever they all are, I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do, sir, would you take this packet and just start mixing them face down in your hand, just, to, just so they're thoroughly mixed. And now, Sabrina, I've got, again, I've got another set, an identical set for her. Would you take those and just start mixing them? I'm going to come out here. <coughs> and now, Gil, I want you to pick one of those cards. At the top, the bottom, and the middle, but just so only you see what it is. And look at what symbol you have. Look at it. Remember, you've got the symbol. Remember what it is. Put it back. Mix the cards up. Sabrina, would you do the same thing? Just pick one anywhere you want. Look at it. And you read what astrology sign you have. No telling. But please read. Put the cards back. Mix up the cards. You can set the cards down on the table. You know, I'd like to concentrate. Can you please concentrate on the symbol you have. Did you tell us which one your symbol is up? Link up? Libra. Libra. demonstrate his ESP ability for the audience. Let me get something out here. You have your gong. Why don't you just take that in the end? Give it a practice shot. There. Oh, that's good. Let me explain what we're going to do now in a minute. Uh, in just a minute, I'm going to have Gil turn his back so that he is not looking at you. And then we'll have somebody in the audience hold up any number of fingers from one to 10, or if you have more fingers than that, that's okay too. Gil, without looking, well, using his ESP ability, will strike off on the gong, the same number as the number of fingers being held up. Okay, Gil, would you just turn around, turn your back. Okay, turn your back now. Now, when I, don't start until I tell you to start, but now let's pick out somebody here. Would you hold up any number of fingers? Okay, everybody can see that. Okay, Gil, would you begin? One, two, three, four. Correct! Very good, Gil did it. Thank you very much for your assistance, Gil. Thank you so much. And for, for our final little thing here, um, you've seen a couple people earlier lose some money. I guarantee this next person is gonna win some big money in this next uh, little thing we're gonna do here. I have a tape recorder here, and on this tape recorder is recorded a horse race, which we'll be just be playing in just a few minutes. First of all, we're going to have somebody pick a horse. Is anybody here who likes to play the horses? Any gentlemen here? Horse players? Let's see. Anybody? You ever play the horses, sir? Albert? Anybody here play? You play the horses? You do? Okay, we're going to use, again, you can just uh, stay back there. Let me uh, tell you how we're going to do this. What's your name after? Pardon? Kevin. Kevin. Okay, Kevin. I have some cards here with horse names on them. There's about eight or nine horses here. Go through the names. We have 
of course called Midnight Honor, Sunshine Girl, Viking Maid, Moving Cloud, French Chef, Triple Power, Razzle Dazzle, and Real Terror. These are the horses named. On the other side of this, Kevin, we've got the odds of these horses. Let me mix this up a little bit here. And we're going to see what kind of a gambler you are. Because as I show you the odds, just think to yourself, what kind of odds you like. You'll see that what we have here is 15 to 1, 2 to 1, 6 to 1, 10 to 1, 5 to 1, 7 to 1, 3 to 1. We'll see if he's a long shot player or or likes the favorites. What kind of odds do you like there, Kevin? Three to one. Three to one, right here. This is the one you want. Let's see what horse this is. Triple Power is his horse. That's the horse he picked. Just set that up there. Remember, I guarantee he's gonna, Kevin's gonna win some, some big money here. We're gonna play the horse race. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, I'd, I'd like to take you all home with me, but I still have last night's crowd to get rid of. 